All right, now here is an interesting hidden feature I would like to show you guys. Let me just open a Samsung Gallery application. I will open a, one of the images here with some text. I've got a screenshot here which has got some text on it. Now here, we all know that on One UI 6.1, uh, we get this text icon right here at the bottom, if at all there is any text on a particular image. Now this is the AI integrated feature. Uh, the AI recognizes the text on uh, the image and it shows this icon by tapping on which we will be able to copy the text from this image. Now, as you can see here, we have got all these texts selected here and I can just tap on the text to copy it. You see, we get copy, translate, select all, share option. But this does not show any other options apart from uh, the copy text option on this particular image. Now, this is something which we already know. This is not the interesting feature I'm talking about. Now, what I'll do is I will open another image here. Let's go back. Let me open this particular screenshot here. This has got a lot of text on it. Now, again, it is showing me this text icon right here at the bottom right. Let me just tap on this now. You can see instead of copying the text, it is showing me to scan this particular page. We will be able to copy the text as well. All we need to do is just tap on the text here and select the text that you want to copy. And while copying it, if you have the text which mentions uh, the schedule, then you will be able to add an event as well. As you can see, this particular message is saying, uh, I was wondering if you could come to the office today as we have done a pending presentations to prepare. So the AI is recognizing this as an event and it is giving me an option to add the event. I can just tap on this add event to directly go to the calendar and add the event. Now that's a cool hidden feature. Now this is not it. Let me show you something more. Now you can see apart from copying the text, this image uh, is showing me an option to scan the image as well. I can just tap on scan. You see, I will be able to select a portion of this particular screenshot or this image and scan that image and tap on save. You see, this has been saved now. Uh, just for example, I'm showing you this. Now let's go back. Let me select some other image here. Now let me tap on this image. I'll tap on text. You see, this is not showing me an option to scan it. Actually, these features should be uniform across all the images. But for some reason, this is not uh, giving me an option to scan the image. And when I tap on this uh, schedule here, you can see it says 11 a.m. today. I will be able to add an event by selecting this text. Now, let me just go back. Let me select this image over here. I'll tap on text. Now you see we get two different options. One is copy all, the other one is add to note. Now this add to note option should appear on all the images which has got text. That is what I feel because instead of uh, selecting the text, copying it and then pasting it on the note, we can directly tap on add note here. You see the entire text has been copied to the Samsung note application, which happens in a Jiffy, which is fantastic. Now let me just close this. I'll also be able to tap on copy all and paste it on any other application instead of Samsung Notes. That's another option we have here. Now on this image, I will tap on text. You see again, this is showing me add to note, copy all. Now let's go to the next image. I'll tap on text. On this image, it is not showing me the options to copy or uh, add to note. Now this is an issue with AI. Even though the contents are similar, it shows different options which is not really great. I think Samsung will have to work on this and uh, help us get similar options on similar images at least. Now let me try it on this particular image here. This is a text document. I'll tap on a T icon here. Now you see we get all three options. We've got scan option, add to note option, copy all option. Now this is something I would like to see on any of the uh, images with text on it. I should get all these options and translate option can also be included here. Some of the images does uh, show the translate option. But what I'm trying to say is these are all some of the hidden options which we may not even know if we try this feature on different images. Now, this feature doesn't only work on the images. We can also uh, get this T icon on the videos. Let me tap on this particular video here and open it. You see now the video is playing. I can just pause the video. Let me just pause it uh, right here. Now you see I get this T icon right here at the bottom. I can just tap on that to copy the text from this video as well. You see it has already selected the text. I can uh, specifically select the text area here and then I can copy it or select all and copy it or we can also translate the text here. So this can be done even on the video files, not only on the images. So what do you think about this feature? Did you already know this? Drop a comment. I hope these features will improve and uh, will get more polished in the upcoming iterations of One UI. Let me know what do you think about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you're interested in this particular wallpaper on the home 
home screen. I've left a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can check out all my previous videos to download these beautiful looking wallpapers. All the credit goes to those designers who have designed these wallpapers. I'm just sharing it with you guys. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this video informational. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.